Welcome back everyone. In today's short video, I'm going to discuss some of the questions related to the NRMP ID. So in the forums, I've seen people are asking if they can submit the ERAS application without their NRMP ID and uh, when uh, you need to buy NRMP ID. So uh, I will answer these questions and uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel already, hit subscribe and hit the notification button as well. NRMP which stands for National Resident Matching Program is a service which has only one function. It is responsible for residents and fellow matching into their appropriate programs based on their preferences. So uh, people in the past have done like very silly mistakes. Uh, even with 20 plus interviews, they haven't matched. And the sole reason was a tiny mistake that they haven't updated their NRMP ID or they haven't certified their NRMP rank order list. So this step is really important. Uh, you are not there yet, but it's soon coming up. So little bit background about NRMP. Uh, it uses an algorithm which was invented by Dr. Roth and Dr. Shapley, who were given Nobel Prize for Economics and Maths in 2011, I think. Uh, it works within a minute. In a minute, it can utilize all the rank order list from the applicants as well as the programs and generate the list where every individual has matched and what applicants have matched in a particular program. In layman terms, this algorithm is just like the algorithm used in uh, the movie Draft Day about Cleveland Browns, uh, just like a faster version of that. Uh, and it keeps in mind preferences of both the applicants as well as the programs. So in order to submit your ERAS application, you don't need to have the NRMP ID. Because the whole purpose of the NRMP ID is helping you in matching. It's not really needed in the interview process. So the whole process is very easy. You just have to buy the NRMP ID. You have to put the NRMP ID on the ERAS, which can be done before you apply or after you apply and then you have to make your rank order list based on what you like which program you like or which program you think is better and then you, finally you have to certify and submit before the deadline if you do it before the deadline no matter how many interviews you got you won't be matched and uh, let's take a look at the fee structure of the nrmp so for its services nrmp charges 85 dollars and you can rank up to 20 programs. If you have got an interview from more than 20, then you have to pay some extra amount, $30 per program. And there is a late registration fee as well. Uh, for people who are doing the couple match, uh, there will be some additional fee as well. And if by any chance uh, your rank order list is greater than 100 programs, then you have to pay some extra amount as well. You can rank only those programs in the NRMP rank order list from where you got an interview call and you actually attended the interview. Rank all the programs. Doesn't matter how bad your interview went. Doesn't matter uh, how bad the program is. Even if the program is really bad, still rank it at the bottom of your list. Here I want to say the pre-match programs like Bronx or uh, VJ Memorial, they do not participate in NRMP. They won't have any NRMP ID and you don't need to put them in your rank order list. So to summarize the whole video, although you can uh, buy the NRMP ID and put your NRMP ID on ERA's application before you submit the application, but the ideal time for getting the NRMP ID is when you get your first interview because there is no point in getting an NRMP ID if you haven't received a single interview. That's why I would recommend once you get your first interview, at that time buy your NRMP ID with $85. So that's the end of today's video. I hope you liked the video. Uh, do let me know in comments which other important topics you want me to discuss and please subscribe and hit notification button for more upcoming content. Thank you all.